all right so what are we doing today we're going to install this thin shade entry door window kit comes with a tinted tempered glass and a shade onto the bango bus I know it's been a while since you guys seen this thing but it's still here still active uh, got a new camera so it's gonna take me a while get used to how to figure out how to play with it uh, used it the other day I recorded uh putting this together as the part two of my um garage install making a two car four car or three car garage by changing that motor raising the door up well the lift is finally in I'm getting a little off topic it's a uh, Mayflower blacksmith got this from Amazon uh, put it together fairly easy looking at all the videos online uh, really set me up uh, we'll get into that but today is getting rid of this obscure glass that I put in on a shuttle bus because you can't see out of it in or out but I did install a camera thinking that that would help but it didn't so today is the day a little overcast but um let's see if we can get this thing out stay tuned All right, gonna that's pretty easy instructions. They want you to use blue painted tape. Kind of take this in place and form it out if you're doing it alone. And as you can see, I am doing this alone. It's really not that bad. It's pretty big. I'll just put a few pieces and see if that's enough. I had to dry the, door, dry the door off around the glass because it's a uh, foggy out, uh, a lot of condensation on the bus, but um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of follow that. What I've seen the people do on YouTube, a few people um, already did this, but I didn't see anybody have this door in the front of their bus, those in the back of the bus, as a rear door. But in my case, I took those bifold doors out and I didn't like it. It made a lot of noise. So, uh, probably gonna be stopping and starting every now and then. Uh, get these clips. Particularly came with this thin shade kit. You need these little plastic release tabs. There's a slot in the ring. And this ring and it goes in there you push them in and it releases a clip um, and it sounds pretty good you just got to go around and insert them in every little bit and if and when I get this one out I'll show you exactly what's happening I'm releasing.
I'm sure that's gonna bite me. I'm gonna get a stool and see if there's something up there. What happens is that clip gets pushed in, it has a little groove, it fits in the groove, and it holds the clips open. This version of that window, that's all that's holding it, is these clips. It's the same with the window that's going in. So, halfway there.
What they tell you to do next is get some alcohol and wipe off the old adhesive that's around the glass because um, the kit, if you choose to do this, you'll see that it comes with the adhesive on it already. And it's adhesive on the outer ring, and then it's an adhesive with a tinted glass goes. But it comes with some just a simple glass. But so far, not so bad. Let's just like uh, everybody else's install. I wish that I could have. Um, I wish I had more time to do research when I was looking. Let's see if I could have got a glass that open and closed. So what I'm doing now is just wipe the alcohol with the residue off so that replacement glass can stick and be leak free. But like I was saying, if I had the um, the time, because everything would be just wash, 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 like we finished the day before. Um, and I'm going out to Cecil County tonight to film some drag racing. Um, I wanted to do more to the bus, but it's so foggy and wet. I need to get up and for them. I'll update my charging system and change this charging system around in this bus. It has two batteries. For when this was actually a, uh, a handicap bus. The lift, the high drive lift. Required its own setup, but that's not in there anymore. And that capacity itself, that's cleaned off. So what I just did was I installed the tinted glass in the frame. It uh, didn't come assembled. Um, I'm gonna make sure that the glass is centered in there. Uh, and it is. I'm gonna put some more of that painter's tape on this to keep the glass in. And although it doesn't really say which is top and bottom, it matters because of the inner frame, the way that it holds the blinds, and it's an option of even have, having the blinds come from the top to the bottom, but I want my blind to come from the bottom to the top, so I'm going to orient this, and I heard another YouTuber put this in and said something about a deep hole and put it in backwards, I don't see that in this kit, so I'm not going to think it's a problem. Um, tricky part is taping that up. Pretty much how I did. And this is what I was talking about the shade comes separate, but I should have showed you that later. And this is the inner frame. I see other people had issues where they had to use clear tape to keep the blinds in position. But this model has clips, so that shouldn't be a, which way this is oriented, so I can have my blind come from the bottom up opposed from the top down. And uh, once I do that, I'm going to be good to go. 
So, this is going to be the top for me. down and right it doesn't really matter to me that won't really matter to me try to put some of this blue tape on here
that sentence. Done. See, everybody was talking about they had the one that screwed together. That was a a click together. That little boo boo. Um, but it went together flawless. And actually, I like that click system better than the other system. So, uh, if you guys and gals have an RV. Um, and this door is actually somewhere other than usually they're in the rear or in the middle but because I took my bifold doors out and I put this door in um, again with that obscure glass or I thought it was on camera sorry that glass was like glass that you would find in a bathroom that um, it lets in very little light and you can't see in or out of it that is definitely the way to go measure the glass because I think there's two separate sizes. I wanted one that opened up would have been better, but uh, you know what? That's perfect. I didn't sit in the other side yet, but I'm quite sure it is night and day. I'm going to take it off the mount and you can see the function of the shade. I think that. and up close um like i said it come it comes with silicone already in place so you're not laying beads of silicone and i trust what most people who made videos putting this glass in their rv said it doesn't leak and it was already silicone around where the window went um the only dif difference if you can see i don't know if you can right here Put my finger. You can see the writing is upside down, but I did that because I wanted the shade to come instead of from the bottom up, from the top down. And um, now that I did that. I wasn't sure if it was that way I wanted it or wanted it to come from the bottom up. It doesn't matter. Um, that's going to greatly improve my driving experience with this. No more driving it out of the camera. The black frame kind of coordinates with all of the other black frames around the bus. So, this install was simple quick so if you're out there and you think you can do it do it if you think you can't do it do it I'm probably gonna get a get the keys to this thing and open the door from the other side so you can see how it would look from the driver's side look it out all right so this is what it looks like from the inside that I would normally not be able to see because of the obscure glass that was in that door um, I would have to look through the camera which is fine when the vehicle stops but when you're moving and you need to look over there it's a little it'll throw you off because right next to that camera is my backup camera and when you're looking up and you're driving there's really too much going on to figure out what's what which camera is what um, so you have that little triangle window which you can see a little bit this is a game changer so I'm happy so far 
Um, I'm gonna let you know later when I get to the track I wasn't driving with this window and being able to see I have curtains that I put up you know when I'm camped out and I don't want you looking in so that shade there would be nice instead of draping something over it like I was doing to my school bus so again I recommend this I would it took 20 30 minutes if that to get that trim space whatever name that glass is uh, the frame mine came from e-trailer um, just make sure you measure your glass twice because there's different size glasses I think it's two or three so I measured mine it looked like it was an exact replacement and it went right in no issues to the next time and again sorry it's a thin shade from Lippert I got this from e-trailer I think they sell this on Amazon as well but why I didn't get it from Amazon they weren't clear with the measurements the measurements weren't uh, clear as each e-trailer was so I ended up getting it from e-trailer okay bye